In the Treasure Valley, artificial intelligence is changing the way we get around. Hey Siri, call me an Uber. How we research. Hey Alexa, what's the temperature outside? And even how we shop. Hey Google, deliver me a carton of milk. But despite the fact that that very same carton of milk may have come from a farm in rural Idaho, it has likely been produced with the help of robots too. So we haven't milked by hand for decades, so we've, we've moved beyond that a, a few decades ago. In the last few years, more and more Idaho dairies have begun implementing robots in their milking facilities. The uh, brushes are going up and they're scrubbing e each uh, side of the udder, cleaning the cow, stimulating her, helping her let her milk down. There's another employee there that is towel drying them off, getting them prepared to put the machine on. And voila, the milk is extracted. Simple, right? One would think. Milking does not look like what it used to be. Welcome to Struggle Town, USA. Population one, okay. me. So I left it to the expert. My ineptitude aside, there are clear incentives for the investment. One, efficiency, and two, it replaces jobs. We cut our, our employee numbers in half. Wow. So that alone was, is, is huge. And robots are not the only technology being utilized on Idaho dairy farms. Every animal has a, a RFID chip in her ear. So when they enter the facility, we know what stall she's in, what time she was milked, and it's recording the amount of flow she gives each day. So we have the amount of milk she's producing every day. Also producing a sink or swim environment amongst competing farms. No longer can you really succeed by just being a good cow person. You have to be a great business manager, a great HR person, and, and really have a whole suite of specialties that we didn't have to have in the past. Madeline White, six on your side.